Should Christians be righteous and ratchet? Let's talk about it here on All Things Theology. All Things Theology, All Things Theology, we chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, hallowed be, cause this is how we do it at All Things Theology. Yo, grace and peace. Welcome back to another episode of All Things Theology, where this is your host, K Dub, and today we're going to talk about uh, D1 music, Lecrae, and we're going to talk about Righteous and Ratchet. What is what is what is this all about, right? Um, recently, I saw this going uh, viral where D1 called out Lecrae, but before we actually get to that, I want to set a little context because in 2017, um, Lecrae did a uh, he did an interview where he was talking about, hey, I'm, I'm Righteous and Ratchet. Right. And what what I generally hear of when I think of ratchet is like just walling out. Right. Like ghetto girls. And right. But I, even in the be, be, try to best the best context on what Lecrae was trying to uh, describe, I think he was trying to say, hey, I know how to be of the world. I know how to fit in over here with people who aren't Christians and and Christians. Right. But I want to look at some other things that was said in that interview before we actually get into uh, D1's uh, uh critique and his, some of the things he said as well so let's look at what lecrae said you like to put yourself because every time i talk to you i i don't i yeah i always have a difficulty because i get ready to say you know yeah christian rap or, yeah. you know, and then i say holy no yeah holy or... hip-hop and then i'm like <laughs> i don't when i hear your music though I'm, I'm just being honest with you i don't hear the label yeah that's good that's how i like it you know what i'm saying so he's like hey I, I when i hear your music i don't really hear the label the label of christian rap and Lecrae said, "Well, that's well, that's good. I don't, I don't think that's good, right? Because our now, and let me say this: I'm not saying every verse, every song of yours has to be a theological treatise on the hypostatic union. Please don't hear me that. Rather, I am arguing people should know that we are Christians by the content that comes from our music, whether we're doing more expository Christian rap or even from a cultural standpoint." The ideology and the worldview from our song should say Christian. And so the fact that this guy is like, I don't see that should not should be a huge problem and a red flag to Lecrae. But Lecrae sees that as more of a compliment rather than a rebuke. I don't hear the label. I mean, Lecrae, the person loved Jesus. You know, I I ain't ashamed of that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Um, But they don't. I'm just here to show people that you can do music. You can love God and do music and it ain't got to be gospel. You know what I'm saying? Like, end of the day, it's like, do you love God? Yes. So you do music. Well, just because you love God, don't mean you got to do gospel music. You know what I'm saying? But if what he means by that is what I said, you know, it doesn't have to be expository, right? Not everybody is an expositor, okay? But I don't think Christians have the freedom to have our music sound non Christian, if that's what he means. So I, obviously there would be needed some more clarity, but given what he just said, I don't know how else to interpret it. But I, again, I want to be fair and charitable, even in my disagreements. You know, I make music about everything. You know what I'm saying? We talk. Somebody about- might feel that you get in favor because all the other cats have not been able still to do what you are doing. Yeah. You are the leader. And whatever sure. I don't again, not to I know put you in saying. that market, I but you're that saying. leader. So I know some of those guys looking at you. Why Lecrae? How is he able to do it? You gotta, yeah. like I said, endure the hate, and you gotta take some risk. It's like, man, like endure the hate, right? I, you know, are, are there some people who just downright hate Lecrae? I, I'm positive, yeah, probably. But that has a my my critique has been on you know the biblical aspect of Lecrae, right? Where Lecrae, it seems. Is just trying to fit in too much with the world. And I don't mean in how he dresses or even how he talks, even though that was not there, you know, uh, in the rebel days, there seems to have been a change even in that. But but wh- whatever, that's not the big issue. It's the attacking the church, opposing, you know, street preachers who are actually preaching the gospel. It's been biblical things that have been problematic from from my, you know, from from the outside in. Right. If you if all you want to do is a song with, you know, gospel artists, that's you. That's how you roll, I think. But for a lot of us, we grew up in hip hop. This is all we know. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't meet God till I was a grown man. So it's like all I knew was UGK. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know what is, what did you want me to do? You know. Well, here's the issue because I would assume you view your music as ministry, right? I, I think I've even heard him say it say that before. Um, I don't believe Christian artists have the, uh, you know, 
the unction, the liberty to partner when it comes to ministry uh, with unbelievers. Um, I mean, your message is going to be totally different, you know. And so he said, well, if you just want to partner, partner with, uh, you know, gospel artists, I mean, that's you. But I grew up listening to UGK. The only way I can interpret this is he doesn't want to just collab with, quote unquote, gospel artists, but also secular artists as well. I mean, that's the only way I understood what he just said. Um, but what are y'all going to talk about? I mean, you, you can't come from a biblical lens since they oppose that. And and at best, you're just going to give some kind of moral lens, which that sends people to hell, too. You know what I'm saying so for me, it's like, man, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to the people that I came up with. You know, I just got through talking to Bun and it was like he was like, man, man, I appreciate everything you're doing. Matter of fact, man, we, you know, we was chopping up on some spiritual stuff, but everybody don't have that you know what i'm saying everybody don't have that those type of people that they can get going all them lanes with and so you know i'm just that same person it's like man you could be yourself around me be who you're gonna be i'm gonna be who i'm gonna be and you know i may not condone everything but i ain't gonna condemn you for nothing man i'm here to you know interesting uh i have further thoughts but for that for now i'll just i'll just play this next clip where he talked about being righteous and ratchet right let's get into it man what's the next move for lecrae at this point because really it's kind of like you are og at this point man you know uh you've done it all you've for done sure. it successfully so what could possibly be done because the point should all had probably always been i want to yeah. prove that i can do what i do have the message that i have and yeah. i can get everybody to appreciate what i do i can do a car show because everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. that tries to that's in the world I hate to say it like I that. know what you're saying. It's Everybody totally comes from all, hip -hop. The, all the worlds able that I've been able to do. They, in, they yeah. will not be able to do the car show okay. or they will not be able to rock. Con well, it seems like this gentleman here was talking about they're not Christian. Like they're in the world. They're living in sin. Right. <laughs> and Lecrae kind of reinterpreted that. Well, you, you, you know, different kind of worlds. Right. Like like it, it was that was very interesting. But but listen, listen to what he says. Sir Hall's the way you you can yeah. be on the regular bill with all everybody yeah. else's favorite artists. Yeah. You just got to be, like I said, end of the day, be yourself. And, and that's me being me. And so I, I always tell people, you know, I'm righteous and ratchet. And you got to you got to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? The ratchet folks got to deal with the righteous side of me. And the righteous folks got to deal with the ratchet side of me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you're righteous and ratchet. And the righteous, ratchet people got to deal with the righteous part of you. And the righteous people got to deal with the ratchets. Here's my general, what I see is that. One side is going to win. You can't be righteous and ratchet. And we'll get to that in a second. Uh, ratchet is worldly. Ratchet is things that oppose Christ. I mean, look, look, look at the ratchet music videos. I mean, that's rat. You know what I mean? That You got girls twerking. That's ratchet. You know, fathers not being there for their uh, babies. That's ratchet. Um, so one, you, you, you got to define all this, but yeah, yeah. I, I agree with D1, what he's going to say a bit later. You can't be righteous and ratchet at the same time. You got to, one's going to win out. One's going to win, right? Uh, but I thought that was an interesting statement. He, he wants to, he, he got to be right. He's righteous and, and ratchet. You just got to deal with that. But that's who I am. So I'm going to connect to everybody else who's running in that same lane. And it ain't no compromise on me being who I am, but be yourself. And I think if you be, if you if you can be yourself, man, who knows what kind of doors and opportunities will open up for you? Man. That's part of the problem, right? Self needs to die. But let's hear what D1 has to say on the subject. Bible does not make room for ratchetness and righteousness. But black culture does. Let's go. And hip hop culture does. Let's go. It makes room to be ratchet and righteous. There's right. literally a popular. I I saw Christians <laughs> posting about that stuff. I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he is referring to Lecrae. I mean, <laughs> so let's let's keep it going. Righteous and ratchet. That's right. Man, well, forget y'all. We ain't on the same team because I'm real righteous and relevant. You heard me? I'm cool That's with what it. I am. I'm cool I'm with it. I'm not righteous and ratchet. Like, what are y'all talking about? But black culture, I'm not pro-black more than I'm pro-God. Let's go. Let's go. I, I, I love it, man. I love it. You know, he, he needs one of these. <laughs> That's right. I am not more pro-black than I am pro-God. Yeah. my The image of God, who I am in Christ, supersedes all that superficial stuff, right? So, amen. Amen, D1. 
Mm. And I don't care what black people think. You know what I'm saying? Am That's I right. black? Am I proud to be black? Yes. Yep, yep. But I'm not pro black more than I'm pro God, man. Because being pro black will allow for a bunch of foolish, ratchet behavior mm. that in the name of blackness we mm. all celebrate. Right, so there's, a, mm. there's a little online debate about can you be ratchet and righteous? And I thought, what a great time to address this as I'm on my walk through the suburban community taking out my braids. Where people probably like, oh, he ratchet. Look at him. He ratchet. But that's okay because. Well, I would say <laughs> ratchet implies more than uh, wearing an afro or taking out your braids, but let's hear it. Aspect of who I am. You know, ratchetness comes from disenfranchised communities. It's, it's, it's a part of the culture that we are raised in. And there's some aspects of it that are redeemable, some aspects we got to let go. Maybe you talk loud in public. Maybe you got a mouthful of gold. Maybe you mm, 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 pat your hair. And it, those are not sinful qualities or things that you got to let go. Yeah, but I wouldn't even say none of that is ratchet in and of itself again we, we, again I, I think this is a minimal minimization of the term ratchet um let's ask that that guy he was interviewing what he thinks lecrae meant by ratchet <laughs> right because it sounds like lecrae was saying hey I, I know how to i know how to cut in both worlds right i know how to cut in in these secular venues who ain't christian they cussing and doing all this and I know how to deal with, you know, the, the suburban Christian kind of thing, right? That's kind of what it sounds like what it was saying. You know, screaming on your kids, cussing people out. Yeah, okay, we gotta let some we gotta let that go. Even God would say let that go. But, you know, man, embrace, you know, who what makes you you. And 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 that's what makes you uniquely you. I wouldn't be rapping if it wasn't for some aspect of a ratchet culture. Hip hop was born in ratchetness you know and it's nah, no 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 sir no sir <laughs> uh hip-hop was actually born out of opposing a lot of uh bad politics and stuff like that not <laughs> I, I don't know what he's talking about <laughs> been redeemed happy 50th birthday by the way hip-hop so i would just say man let's not let's not trash the community let's not tear and and i don't think that that wasn't what d1 was doing that, that was not what he was doing at all. He was not trashing black people or, or the community. I, I, I don't know how that's the response to that. Again, um, yeah. On a community for some of the actions that don't fit the broader, you know, society that they may be a little unorthodox. I'm sure they call Jesus ratchet. You know, he came from Nazareth. <sighs> boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm sure they call Jesus ratchet. What? What is? What is? This, again, this is trying to fit Jesus into uh, Lecrae's modern definition of of hood rat and culture and stuff like that, right? Like, no, Jesus was not ratchet. He was he was not going around acting ghetto. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> that's absurd. That's this is. I don't even know how to even respond to that. They say, oh, this little country dude, but. You know, he didn't shy away from that. <laughs> what? He was exactly who he was. Where, where did they even say that? I mean, I don't know what he's, I don't even know what he's talking about. And yet he was righteous. And so we embrace the ratchetness, you know, our lowliness, our, our unorthodox. And we, we, we embrace our lowliness and our unorthodox. Well, no, you don't embrace the unorthodox, but you see how he's redefining ratchet to mean something like, like it's okay. I've never heard anyone use ratchet and like, oh, that's that's just the lowly state of humanity or ratchetness in the unorthodox. Yeah, you just first of all, you don't embrace that. I mean, if that's even what you're saying, you don't embrace that. Um, so he's redefining the term and redefining what D1 is actually talking about. Right. But re, uh, D1 responded. He responded. So let's hear the response. Lecrae, brother, you got to stop. You coming across real lukewarm right That's now. That's right. That's right. I recently posted a video where I said, as believers, we can't glorify being righteous and ratchet. Mm -hmm. Then you wanted to insert yourself into the conversation. So you came behind me and posted a video saying that we need to keep some aspects of ratchetness and we need to do away with other aspects. Listen, bro, I know you. So I know you have a desire to fit in with the culture, mm -hmm. but don't let that desire to fit in with the culture cause you to co-sign actions from the culture that are not of God. That's you right. Know what I mean? That's right. Then you went on to say they were probably calling Jesus ratchet. 
brother, no. <laughs> exactly. No, they they were not calling Jesus ratchet. Well, first of all, they didn't have any concept of like that. But so what? What? And again, if they were, they were wrong. I mean, so it's like I'm not sure how that helps. That helps Lecrae. Don't know that. Like you're making that up. Exactly. They were calling Jesus ratchet, and even <laughs> if they were, guess what? He wasn't calling himself ratchet. Exactly. You know I mean? Let's so, go. <laughs> exactly. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus was not ratchet. We know that we're sinners and we know that we need God's grace, but that don't mean that we co-sign our lifestyle or exactly. term. Exactly. Let's go. You said hip hop was birthed from a place of ratchetness. No, it wasn't birthed exactly. from a place of ratchetness, bro. Like, where are you getting this from? That's right. That's right, man. That's, that's all I got, man. What are your thoughts? Should we be righteous and ratchet at the same time? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Hope this video was helpful to you. Till the next time, grace and peace. Yo, grace and peace. Thank you for watching another episode of All Things Theology. If you enjoyed what you heard today, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly videos, lives, interactions, exposing false teachers, sharing with you, the viewer, my theological beliefs, things about the culture and the Bible. So if you're here for that, come on and join us. Amen.